against the union, but this is completely I'm, look, I, I, so wrong. I'm not, I'm not against unions either, but I'm against illegal blockades. And I'm definitely against illegal act of blocking access to businesses. I mean, this is crazy. I can tell you, these guys, the average pay, average pay, base pay, $104,000 a year. Kian Bexie for Rebel News here in Carsland, Alberta, at the illegal blockade of the co-op fuel hub here in Carsland. This blockade is being run by out-of-province Unifor thugs. The labor dispute between Unifor and the company co-op has spilled into Alberta and nothing is being done about it. It's the cusp of calving season here and farmers need access to this card lock. Farmers all around southern Alberta depend on this card lock actually because this card lock disperses fuel to other small communities in the area. Mossley, Alberta for example. There's a very small independent gas station there that retrieves its fuel supply from co-op. So these Unifor thugs are coming from out of province to materially hurt small businesses and family owned businesses here in Alberta and it is not fair. Now an interesting development in the story today is that the local conservative politician Joseph Scow has just arrived. He's actually filming a quick video. I imagine he'll be posting it on social media and I saw a yellow jerry can in the back of his truck and yellow signifies diesel for jerry can so I imagine he's going to try and cross the picket line to get some diesel fuel. If he does I'm going to follow him so let's wait and see what uh, what happens here today. Like is, is this not is there an illegal protest? I'm just curious based on you guys' uh, assessment of the, of the law? As we understand it, both sides have uh, lawyers that are working on what's happening, how it goes. Uh, as it is right now, we have no action to take. You have no action to take? No. Our purpose here is just to protect the safety of everybody. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you. You guys stay safe. Take care. Well, I was right, and it does look that he is going to be crossing the picket line, kind of just like I did yesterday. You can watch that video at unionthugs.ca. Hello. Sorry, no. No, I thought when there's a UV guy, I want to have the video. Pretty important to make sure that uh, we still have access to this. A lot of farmers and ranchers here, truckers depend on this car lock. And this is an absurd, Ill illegal protest, so. It is, it is. We, we are working here, they're trying to stop us. We're not working for coal. Yeah. We work for a different company, we get paid by a different company. They hardly allow us to go to work. Yeah, I mean, this is absurd, you know, like it's, uh, you know, imagine that you're trying to go to the grocery store and get uh, some produce and some block you get in there because they don't like the guy who supplies the, br the bread. I mean, this is this is absurd. So, I'm, uh, I'm here getting some fuel because I need fuel. That's, I'm not going to let these union thugs stop me from doing that. I'm not against the union, but this is completely... I'm, look, I, I, so wrong. I'm not, I'm not against unions either, but I'm against illegal blockades. I'm definitely against illegal act of blocking access to businesses. I mean, this is crazy. I can tell you, these guys, the average pay, average pay, base pay, $104,000 a year. After, with all their bonuses, their, you name it, $174,000 a year, average pay. Well, and they wouldn't have put these fences up and they're saying, because there were safety concerns, because apparently, you know, a couple of the truckers were getting upset. Naturally, was, you're, you're getting in the way of their livelihood. There was one trucker who lost it a bit. These are private companies, hey, these truckers. They're not, they're contracted by co-op, but yeah. they're, pri they're private enterprises. Yeah. These guys are losing money every day. They have to wait for hours, days. And then somebody was just going forward slowly and blowing his horn. That's the video they have. And all these truckers, they're very aggressive. There was one. Yeah. There was no, one. They cover their face. They cover their face and they're very aggressive. Well, you guys stay safe, have a good day. Yeah, you, you too. too. Take care.
And there goes Joseph Scow. He has a jerry can full of diesel now, and I'm kind of impressed that he had the kahunas to stand up to these out-of-province union thugs. He said union thugs a few times. I thought that was nice. Yeah, I really wish that it was Doug Schweitzer who was here today crossing this picket line, standing up to these out-of-province thugs. Doug Schweitzer, the left-wing attorney general in Jason Kenney's cabinet, just created a new rural crime task force. And that rural crime task force could easily come here and break up this illegal blockade. We are in rural Alberta, and this is an agricultural issue. It is borderline emergency at this point. Depending on how long this strike goes, depending on how long this blockade goes, fuel stations in southern Alberta could start running dry. Now I had the chance to speak with the management of Federated Co-op Limited and they were kind enough to answer a few of my questions. First they reiterated that they believe it is an illegal blockade and that much is clear. It's illegal to blockade private property. They said that they respect the rule of law and have made the application to the Alberta Labor Board and through that board the application will make its way to the courts. They went on to say that they have a message for farmers, truckers, school bus drivers and communities that use their facilities. They say that they're doing everything in their power to maintain fuel supply in the face of these illegal actions. To be clear, Unifor is doing more than blockading fuel supply. Unifor is coming after the dividends paid to local co-ops and co-op members across Western Canada and they will do everything in their power to protect co-op members' investment in their co-ops and their communities. Now despite this, local members of the co-op are infuriated with this blockade and it's led to a little bit of pushing and shoving outside of the facility. Check this out. Let me escort you out the way still. Oh, whoa! Don't touch me! Don't touch me! Why is Doug Schweitzer not moving on this? Maybe his argument is that we don't have a provincial police force yet, and he can't tell the RCMP what to do. But if Doug Schweitzer was serious on combating rural crime, just like this with these union thugs, well, he would be sitting down with the top levels of the RCMP here in Alberta, I believe it's the K Division, he'd be sitting down with them and asking them for answers, just like Joe Scow did with the RCMP here. Doug Schweitzer needs to be getting answers for Alberta, and he also needs to be getting results. Now, he might have some excuses, bureaucracy this, bureaucracy that, it's a different level of government, blah, 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 but you know what? He could easily create a provincial police force in Alberta, something that the Jason Kenney government has been mulling for some time. Nothing official yet has been announced. If there is ever a time to show that we need a provincial police force, a police force that doesn't answer to Justin Trudeau and his kissy kissy smoochy smoochy Ottawa appointee, well, this is the time. It's clear Alberta needs its own police force and we're going to be waiting on Jason Kenney and his left-wing Attorney General Doug Schweitzer to move on this file. For Rebel News in Carsland, Alberta, I'm Kean Bexie, and if you want to see my video from earlier yesterday of me crossing the picket line, go to unionthugs.ca, and if you want to help us out with our coverage, coverage like this, coverage that no one else in the mainstream media is doing, you can go to unionthugs.ca, pitch in a few bucks to help us out. For Rebel News in Carsland, Alberta, I'm Kean Bexie. Thanks for watching our coverage here in Carsland, Alberta. Please go to unionthugs.ca to pitch in a few bucks to help us with our coverage here and everywhere else we go combating rampant leftism across Canada.